Hi, welcome to a priori algorithm. A priori algorithm is used to identify the frequent k item set iteratively. k is starting from 1, 2, 3 until n. That means one item set will be generated uh, first, then two item set will be generated uh, next from the, uh, the uh, first item set. From the second item set, we can create the uh, three items set. So like this, we can keep on go until n items set so the frequent item set can be created by using the prior knowledge of k minus 1 item set for example uh, third item set is generated with the prior information of uh, two item set fourth item four item set four item set means for example uh, egg uh, milk uh, and uh, here we can uh, we can have um, uh, uh, tea powder so this is uh, three item sets from this three item set here we may have uh, chocolate and comma milk comma uh, egg so three uh, two three item sets are there from this uh, two three item sets we can create four item set egg comma milk comma tea comma chocolate so uh, the uh, the three item set knowledge is prior knowledge of three item set is used to generate the four item set why it is called a priori algorithm because of using the prior knowledge of k minus one item set for creating the kth item set it is called a priori algorithm which is determining how strongly or how weakly the two objects are related with each other. There is a priori priority, uh, property. The property is all non-empty subsets of frequent item set must also be frequent. Uh, that means subsets need to satisfy the minimum support count. Minimum support count will be given like 60 percentage like that. If you are having the uh, two item sets milk comma egg if it is uh, appearing more than or equal to 60 percentage of times then only it is called frequent item set if it is having uh, less than 60 percent then it is it is called non-frequent item set so here the minimum support count is used to identify the frequent item set so here uh, all non empty subsets so this is called non empty subsets empty subset means so this is empty subset empty subset is not allowed in the a priori algorithm so all non empty subsets must be uh, frequent item set uh, to create the uh, frequent item set that means all the all the frequent item sets should satisfy the minimum support count uh, the a priori algorithm is uh, having two important steps joining step joining step in the sense k minus one item sets is used to generate the kth item set that means uh, three item sets are using to generate four item sets so that is called joining process for example here uh, you look at this the chocolate milk egg this is one item set uh, egg milk tea this is another item set so both are k minus one that is three item sets these uh, three item sets are joined to create uh, four item sets that is called joining process for example two item sets a comma b and b comma c are there both are joined together to create the three item set a b c our next step is a pruning pruning in the sense uh, deleting uh, to find the support count of kth item set should scan entire database each time so whenever you are scanning the entire database for each time it will take more time to improve the performance by reducing the uh, time consumption we can apply a priori uh, property to reduce the search space of item set that means we will identify frequent item sets uh, by using a priori property that reduce uh, non-frequent item sets that will uh, discard or delete the non-frequent item sets from the database 
for example uh, consider three item set a comma b comma c then non empty subsets a b c so these are all subsets from the these three subsets so we are having these are all non empty subsets when you are applying the a priori uh, property which is discarding the candidate item sets uh, based upon uh which are all items not meeting the minimum support count whichever item sets not meeting the minimum support count then that item sets are called non frequent item sets that non frequent item sets will be deleted from the uh, data uh, data uh, transactions thanks for watching